on the farm making some amazing food with lots of fresh fruits and veggies and fresh chicken. I'm going to teach you how to make a raspberry barbecue sauce. We're going to use it with some uh, fresh chicken and a nice tossed salad. And we're going to start with getting our chicken ready. Super simple, going on the barbie, we're going to go ahead and just put a little bit of oil, salt and pepper, and just throw that on the grill and get that going. Cook it nice and low and slow if we can. Get some salt, a little bit of pepper, and then we'll start with the raspberry barbecue sauce, which I'm super excited to make. It's amazing. Okay, make sure it's all nice and coated in the oil with the salt and pepper, and we have the grill nice and hot. Have about a, a medium heat going. And there we go. Okay, keep that nice and hot. And let's start with our barbecue sauce. So get my skillet going. We're gonna throw in a couple of tablespoons of oil. I'm using flax oil, which I love, as you all know, about two tablespoons of that. And we'll throw in a half a cup of red onion into that. So we're gonna put uh, two cloves of minced garlic as well, maybe closer to three, because I love garlic so much. One of the things, things I love doing in season is using all the fruits and vegetables that are in season as well. Raspberry being an amazing one. It's um, super good for if you're on a reduced sugar diet. It's very high in um, fiber. It's low in sugar. Calories are neg negligible. Um, so if you are a diabetic, it's definitely something that you want to be consuming. Absolutely. They boost your immunity. They are great for antioxidants as well. Put a little bit of salt in here as well. About a teaspoon of salt. Yeah, everything about raspberries I love. So consume them. Put some fresh cracked pepper in. Okay, so these are almost translucent. I can smell all the amazing garlic. I'm now going to add, I just don't want this to blow out, some liquid smoke. So one teaspoon of this we will go right in that beautiful smoky smell. I'm gonna turn my heat down now on this a little bit because they're it's definitely cooking away. Got the smoke in. We're going to put in apple cider vinegar. A quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. Get my measuring cup here. Oh my gosh, I don't know about you, but ever since I turned, I can't see anymore. I can't even tell you what any of these say. I can't even fake being blind anymore. This is a half a cup, so I'm gonna do half of the half cup. Okay, so a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. Smell that right away. And we're going to do, now for the sweetener, you can use, a rabbit just went by, <laughs> before that it was a chicken. Um, you can use a sweetener of your choice. You can use birch syrup, you can use uh, brown sugar, you can use honey. I'm going to use birch syrup. I like it because it has, it's like maple syrup meets molasses. It's got a very distinct, unusual taste. I love it on ice cream, on a lot of things. And I think that in place of using a bunch of molasses, I'm going to use my birch syrup. So birch syrup, we're going to start with about an eighth of a cup. I'm, I'm going to eyeball that. So an eighth of a cup to start. And then I may add a little bit more at the very end. Okay. So we've got that going. We need two pints of raspberries. Two pints 
is about, what do we say? One pint is two cups, so about four cups. Let's go ahead and approximate four cups of that. Two, three, ish. Good enough. Okay, get the heat nice and high now. Check on my chicken again. So proud of myself for multitasking. We're gonna flip that over. Beautiful, beautiful grill marks on it. That looks fantastic. Okay, so we've got our raspberries going. The onions are now translucent. The garlic smells amazing. We're going to add one and a half chipotle peppers. I think that's what I said. One and a half large ones, one and a half or maybe two. You know, I just want to go ahead and plop it out this way. That's two. Let's get a little bit of the sauce as well without making an absolute mess. I'm just going to go ahead and squish those in. They'll break down a bit as they start cooking too. And I tell you, this is starting to really smell like barbecue sauce. I should be wearing an apron right now because I can just see my beautiful outfit getting ruined by my cooking right now, but so it is. Okay, this is looking a lot like jam at this point. I'm going to add now a full can of tomato sauce. Oh, look at the cute little kids. I always get kids walking in on set all the time. Okay. Tomato sauce goes in there as well. And I think that's probably it. Okay, I've let this reduce for a good 15 minutes uh, to get the thickness going. I added a little bit more birch syrup. I want a little bit sweeter. I definitely added some more salt. I did about two tablespoons of molasses as well to give it that real true barbecue sauce uh, taste mouthfeel. What else have I done? Um, that's about it, just a little bit more salt for sure, but reduction, reduce, reduce, reduce. It is, definitely has some heat from the chipotle, so know whatever amount you put in is what you're gonna get back out of it. Um, I took the actual peppers out because the heat from the sauce portion that I put in was quite spicy. And uh, just keep boiling away until you get it to a consistency you think resembles your barbecue sauce. I went ahead and put some on my chicken as well to get that sort of soaking into the chicken. It, uh, it tastes amazing. I'll probably, when I go home, um, take this sauce and puree it. I may even put it through a sieve to get some of the seeds out. I don't know, I'm gonna play with it a little bit more. But overall, it smells and it tastes just like amazingly beautiful barbecue sauce.